The North Carolina Zoo is fortunate to have on its staff some of the most experienced and well-respected zoo veterinarians in the country. So well-respected, in fact, that they're sometimes called upon to assist with medical procedures at other zoos. That was the case recently when Chief Veterinarian Dr. Mike Loomis was asked to travel to the city of Bayamon in Puerto Rico to perform a very difficult procedure on a full-grown hippopotamus. Dr. Loomis tells us more about the procedure. Tommy is, uh, is at a small zoo in a museum complex in Bayamon, Puerto Rico called the Parque de la Ciencia. Tommy needed to have a dental procedure done and the consulting veterinarian asked a friend of mine if he knew anyone that had any expertise with hippo anesthesia and this individual put him in contact with me and that was uh, 20 years ago and I went down to actually do the first procedure on him in 1991. The problem occurs when the teeth are allowed to, to grow for a long period of time. The teeth don't wear properly and the procedure that we do to correct this is actually to anesthetize him and then cut the teeth off before they get to the point where they start giving him problems. We actually have an anesthetic protocol that we've worked out so that we can give him uh, just the right amount of anesthesia to have him sit down kind of like a dog. Then we put ropes around his upper jaw just to kind of stabilize his head a little bit. And then we take a reciprocating saw and then we cut the teeth with that saw. He's doing very, very well. Probably within another two or three years, his teeth will have grown to the point where they're gonna need some more assistance and uh, I'll be happy to go down and help at that point in time. With veterinarians like Dr. Loomis leading our medical team, the zoo can be certain that its animals will always get the very best care. If you'd like to learn more about the veterinary division, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.